A new study at 11 tonight on the mental health of young adults. The findings show recent college grads are not emotionally ready for the workforce. ABC 7 News reporter Amanda Del Castillo is breaking down the reasons why and what it might mean for our future working world. Social media, political and cultural divisiveness, pandemic disruptions and more, all making a list of factors impacting the professional lives of young adults who graduated in the last few years. Because we have this mental health overlay now, anxiety, depression, suicidality and substance abuse, it just seems to be a lot harder and the world's kind of a harder place to enter into. And so um, it's no surprise that People are going to struggle with this. Santa Clara University psychology professor Dr. Thomas Plant weighing in on a recent survey by the Mary Christie Institute. It sampled around 1,000 adults between 22 and 28 with at least a bachelor's degree, uncovering most are emotionally unprepared to survive in the 9 to 5 workplace. Among key findings, more than half admitted to seeking help for emotional problems, including anxiety or depression in the previous year. Another 53% noted experiencing burnout at least once a week. The survey also found 39% blamed their colleges for not teaching them workplace skills or emotional and behavioral standards. I don't think you can blame colleges for this because students come to us already burnt out, stressed from high school and everything else. Navigating a coming of age during the COVID-19 pandemic also kept many in the comfort of their own home, unable to hone in on typical real life experiences. They're now getting to that real world. They're getting to an office environment where there's a lot of tension with coworkers. There's an opportunity to get fired or get a demotion, and they're just not ready for it. Says the CEO of RedBalloon.Work, a job board which prides itself on uniting businesses and job seekers who, quote, value and preserve the freedom to work. If you want to spend less time focusing on the current uh, um, excitement on Twitter or the current uh, uh, political ideologues uh, and instead want to actually just focus on your job, that's what redballoon.work does. Though he acknowledges mental health hardships, he also says employers are saying young adults out of school just don't have the desire to work or work hard. They'll do interviews with people who simply are like, well, I could show up at 10 if that works. And the employer's like, how about eight? And they're like, I just don't see that happening. Whatever the influence, the study points to the prevalence of mental health issues among recent college graduates as they begin their careers. We live in the world we live in. We have to adapt and accommodate. And we do have a lot of tools in our toolbox that we can offer to help people cope and manage. I'm Amanda Del Castillo, ABC 7 News.